Hey there fellow Minecrafters, welcome back to the Draki series here. This is Jason and welcome to another command block tutorial video. Within this video I hope to show you something pretty useful within your command block arsenal. And uh, that is being able to detect any held item in Minecraft. So basically being able to detect any item type that has been selected or held in a player's hand, okay? And uh, currently I'm in Minecraft 1.18.1 and I'm on the Java edition, but it should also help if you're on Bedrock as well, I believe. But uh, as you can see right here, we have uh, three detectors right here and each detector is only two command blocks in size. So it's pretty simple to do. And in these cases, We've got the diamond that actually turns the light on. We've got some cake that also turns the light on and a puffer fish which turns on the other one. And we are basically detecting the selected item and as soon as the item is not selected, the lamp turns off. And also it doesn't matter which item slot it's in. So as you can see, the puffer fish is still activating this detector right here, even though I moved um, its position in the item slots right here. But if you want to see more content like this, then be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss anything with any tutorials or command blocks and that kind of thing. And I'm now going to kind of go through what we actually need to do. So uh, first off, um, if you don't have a command block, what you need to do is you need to do slash give your name and then Minecraft colon and then command block like that. Okay, so that's how you get one. And uh, within the detector, we're using a repeating command block and a chain command block. So basically it runs these two commands over and over and over again in a loop. And that is what we're using here to in order to create this effect. Now, I've put some signs here to kind of explain what we actually need to do in each step of the command block, okay? So, the first thing we need to do is, when we're actually doing stuff, is if the selected item is not correct, then no lamp. So essentially, this command block removes the lamp if the selected item isn't the one that we're looking for. And the next one right here, if the selected item is correct, then the lamp is added. Now, in this very simplistic detector, I am just making it so that a light appears, but you can do a lot, lot more than this. You can actually uh, do other things with the detector. So for example, you could have it so that it spawns a block of redstone in a particular location. And this can be useful to remotely start, you know, circuits or systems and all kinds of different things. So please bear in mind that this is just a, some, a simplistic device just to show you guys it actually working uh, within this tutorial. So we're now going to try and build the detector together so that I can show you it's actually working. What you need to do is you need two command blocks. The first one is going to be repeat and this one is going to be chain like that, okay? Now the first command block that we're going to do is we're going to check if the selected item is not correct, okay? Now I have actually picked uh, a Neverite chest plate right here, which we're going to make a detector for. But before we actually get into that, I just want to explain something that some people might not know. And that is that Minecraft items in the game, different item types, as well as also the blocks and stuff like that, have their own unique ID within the game. So here we've got some... Uh, Acacia planks and we've got deep slate coal ore and so on. Uh, this is redstone and this this ID Minecraft colon redstone is what we're going to be using to to check if the selected item is correct. Now I can actually show you what we're going to be checking 
because I'm going to use this uh, command right here. So slash data get and then entity at p. And what that's going to do is it going to is going to output all of the data tags for me as the player. Okay, and within this bunch of data tags right here, we actually have amongst all of this the data required for the selected item. So you can actually see here, you've got selected item and then ID Minecraft colon command block. So that is actually what we're using. And that is what we're going to use for this detector right here. Okay, so we're now going to write this first command block and that is going to be detecting if the selected item is not correct. So how we're going to do that is we're going to do slash execute and then we're going to do unless entity and then we're going to be focusing on at p which means the nearest player in this case. So the reason why we're using unless is basically we are going to be checking we're going to be like assuming that the selected item is correct or the selected item is a neverite chest plate and this command will only run if that is not the case so that is why we're using the unless keyword in this command right here so we're going to be using the at p selector and within here we're going to do nbt equals so we're going to be doing this so that we are checking for particular data on the player. And we're going to do nbt equals and we're going to be checking for a particular data tag. So what we're going to do is we're going to check for the selected item. And what we're going to check for is we're going to check if id equals minecraft colon neverite chest plate okay so that is the item we are checking and this is the item id that we're going to use so that is the selector done and all we now need to do is run and then set block and i need to do this in my particular case to make it so that it removes the lamp if there so I'm using relative coordinates from the command block and we're going to do Minecraft colon air like that, okay? So that is the first one. Now, what we can now do is we can actually copy this command and use it for this one because we are now going to write the command that puts the lamp on if the selected item is correct. So. We're going to paste the command in here and what we're going to do is instead of unless we're going to swap this out for if so slash execute if entity. So in this case, this command will only run if the selected item is the neverite chest plate. OK, and what we're going to do here is I need to adjust this command so that it does the redstone lamp. So I'm going to do Minecraft colon redstone lamp. And then I need to also make sure that it has the lit metadata so that it is redstone lamp lit true so that the lamp is actually powered, okay? Now, once you've actually set those two commands up, all we then need to do is make sure they are both active so that you do not need any redstone for it. And that is it. And if we actually put on the Neverite chest plate as our selected item or the held item, you can see that the, the actual detector is actually working. And all the others are working in parallel as well. And they all run separately. So it's a, it's a little nifty trick that you can do and something that can be used in many different applications you know, custom maps or creative projects and that kind of thing. All right, everyone, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did enjoy this video and found it useful, then a like on the video would be very much appreciated. And if you want to see me on Twitter or follow my Twitter, my Twitter is in the description, or you can use the Twitter on screen right now. So that's at Dracky Series on Twitter. 
And also, if you want to see more content like this or tutorials or see showcases, all kinds of different content, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you stay notified of any future videos. I hope to reach 10,000 subscribers as a goal and we are pretty dang close, everyone. So please provide all the support you can if you enjoy these videos. And I will see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.